Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to speed up the internet on your iPhone. Now there's always things that you can do to make sure that you improve your iPhone's network quality, the speed performance and all that. And of course, if you're having problems with network quality on your device, make sure you check out these things and you will probably get way better speeds and way better experience using your Wi-Fi network or your cellular data on your iPhone. Now, the first thing you will need to do is leave a like on this video. That's really, really helpful. And of course, we'll have the channel and the video do much, much better. After you make sure you've done that, the first step to speed up the internet on your device, head on to the settings app and head on right to the general settings. Right here, we'll find background app refresh. Now we have talked about this a lot when it comes to battery life on your iPhone. Of course, apps working in the background will have an impact on battery life, but it does have an impact on internet speed as well. Because nowadays, the majority of apps will require an internet connection and they will work in the background and will use your internet connection. That way will have an impact on the speed of the internet on your iPhone. So of course there are apps here that you will need to have working in the background, but there are of course a lot of apps that you probably don't need to, to be working in the background. What you need to do, head on to the list and check the apps that you have here. And of course disable the ones that you know you don't need to be working in the background. The next thing you can do is use this free app called 1.1.1.1. Now this is not a sponsored video, I'm not sponsored by this app, but it actually works. Now this is actually a DNS query app. Now what it does, it basically handles DNS on the device without having to go through your ISP. That way will make your network, your connection, loading websites and all that way faster. Now when you install the app, this is what you need to do tap right here and go to 1.1.1. So it says, you can see right here, make private requests to look up the location of websites using Cloudflare DNS, tap right there. And now you can go ahead and dis enable actually this and you will basically have a much, much faster connection on your device by just enabling the app right here. Next up, head on to the settings app, go to your seller data and make sure you scroll all the way down. Now what you will find right here is something called Wi-Fi Assist. Now this will help your Wi-Fi and of course your network, your connection be much, much faster. And when you're connected to Wi-Fi, sometimes the signal is not that good good or it might slow down a lot this will switch automatically to your cellular data and will help the wi-fi so you won't actually notice that your wi-fi connection is really slow or that is actually being disconnected it will just kick right in and it will move to cellular data that way of course you will have a much much better experience using internet on your iphone this right here is also very important. If you have the setting enabled, your Wi-Fi and your cellular data will be much, much slower. Now this used to be right here under the cellular data option. Now Apple has added this with iOS 15 for Wi-Fi as well. So to any of your Wi-Fi networks, you just tap the little I button and you will get this option right here. Now, if you enable this, basically what it does, it will reduce the amount of data that seller is using. That way, of course, it will save data, but you will have like much slower internet on your device. So if you have an unlimited plan, you go ahead and disable this right away. And of course, on your Wi-Fi, you don't actually need to have this enabled. Just make sure you switch it off and you will get probably way better internet speeds with Wi-Fi and cellular as well. Now, of course, when trying to have better experience, better internet speeds on your device, you need to turn off things that use internet, but you don't actually need. And a lot of those can be found right here under privacy. You go to privacy, scroll all the way down, and you will have here analytics and improvements. Now, what you will find here is share iPhone and watch analytics, share with app devs right here, improve serial dictation, share iCloud analytics and all these. Everything here is, of course, things that you will send to Apple in order to improve their services. 
but of course these will require internet connection and will it have an impact on your internet speeds because they're uploading stuff all the time and of course that will have an impact on the speed that you're getting on your iphone's network going back here we also have advertising right here personalized ads you can turn that off as well and also right here if we go to just scroll all the way down here we'll have things like improve health records improve hand washing and enhanced beta feedback if you have beta on your device make sure to turn this off as well now huge impact not on the speed but on the speed on how fast things will load when browsing websites if you use safari of course will be the amount of cache data and just like website data that the that safari is saving so go to safari right here and make sure you clear the cache and the data a few times a month at least once a week would be really good so from here what you can do is just go ahead and find here the data let's see where these are so here we have the option here to clear history and website data so this will basically clear everything from safari and you will have a much much smoother experience while using safari to browse the internet on your iphone next up are automatic downloads now, of course if you have stuff downloading in the background and you're trying to do something that will reduce the amount of speed that you get on your internet now there are a few things that you need to check first of all head on to the music here and you can just go ahead and just disable downloads right here automatic downloads so it doesn't download things in the background and you will have also things like apps you can find that under the app store section right here so you will have apps and apps updates so if you have apps updates on the background that will have a huge impact on your cellular data and wi-fi speed you will have here options this is for your wi-fi network this right here will be for your cellular data so anytime you're not doing something you can just go ahead and update your apps manually you don't have to have apps updating in the background all the time that of course has an impact on the speeds that you get on your iphone and there are things of course like maybe podcasts if you have downloads enabled for podcasts that of course again will have an impact so you can see automatically download just go ahead and turn that off that way you will get much better experience and much better speeds when browsing the internet on your iphone of course there will be always bugs and things that apple is improving in the background when releasing especially smaller updates to ios so what you need to do is always make sure that you have the latest ios firmware installed on your device that way you have all the fixes and everything you need in order to make sure that you have better speeds on your iphone so always make sure you do that always keep your device updated and last but not least if you're just having problems with your network whether that be cellular or wi-fi you need to make sure that your settings are okay now if you don't know that you just want to go back to the beginning and start all over again fresh just head on to the general settings and go right here to transfer or reset iphone tap on reset and here we'll have reset network settings this will reset all the settings that you have configured for your networks especially for your cellular networks just to the beginning it will delete all the wi-fi that it has saved the passwords and all that but of course it will give you a fresh beginning for your network connections so that's it for this video guys these are 10 things that you can do to improve the internet speed on your device whether that be wi-fi or cellular that's it for this video guys thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one